Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to Pioneer. Today, we're all starting from Sokolov Industrial Center. Sokolov's got a couple ships for sale. Like nothing we're particularly interested in at the moment, because we don't have enough money. These are really big too. Lodos is huge. Look at that cargo space. 2,800 tons. Wow. And that is too small. Right. Anyways, right, so let's get some mission, missions? Missions going on. So, uh, we've got a couple combat missions here. Ship out of fuel. Where do I find a target? Drifting. 300... 3,952 kilometers from here. No thanks. Uh, that's not a bad mission, though. That's 10,000 credits for only... What, what does he need? What type of help is needed? 200 tons of hydrogen. Okay, never mind. We, we don't have the... We don't have the cargo capacity for that. So... That's the document delivery. 20... 20... 7.7 .7 light years. That's actually a little far, isn't it? Might be any danger? It could be dangerous. Okay. Now we could get some combat in here. Although it is a fair ways away. Let's see, we're here at Fuse. Where's our target system? There it is. It's way out there. Let's go ahead and set a route. We need 24 tons of fuel. Now let's take a look. We have Gray Sea. Oh, this is interesting. Two M stars and two uh, white dwarfs. That's interesting. So, C is the only place. Where is there it is. C, Kung's Claim. Velasco City. Okay, yeah. That's not too bad. How much gas did we need? We need 24 tons of fuel. Let's fuel up. Did I join the Commonwealth Fuel Unit? No, I didn't. My membership might have, might have run out. I remember once joining one of these things, right? Annual membership only costs 300 credits. But I don't remember which one I joined. So, uh, we just buy it the old-fashioned way. 24 tons. How much do we need now? Oh, we need 26 tons. Okay. Well, that's not too far. I suppose we can, we can pump the, uh, the last three we need from the fuel tanks. Okay, let's get going. So there's Sokolov. Need to say goodbye to him now. It's one of the smaller space stations you can visit, I think. So, Hute. Hute. Hute? I don't know. Let's get going. So recently... Uh, I've been talking, or I should probably say listening, to uh, some comments from one of the people who worked on Pioneer, and uh, it's been pretty interesting. I, I am learning a lot of stuff about the game that I have, well, that I ne never, never even thought about. Like, uh, apparently... Here in the system, uh, yeah, the system map, it takes my thrusters into account when I when I check the orbits. That's pretty neat. I never knew that would happen. Wow, this is a huge star. That's enormous. Let's check the map for that. So, where are we? We're in a Z. Wow, that's huge. Red giants. 
it's not quite as big as our sun, right? only uh, 0.75 solar masses, but it's big, wow, that's huge. Oh, look at that, now we have enough gas, <laughs> we have enough fuel to make the jump. Oh wow, that's huge. So yeah, anyways, right? Been talking to one of the one of the people who worked on on Pioneer, and it's been really insightful. I don't know how much I can put that into practice. Uh, I tend to get overloaded <laughs> when I try and talk and fly at the same time. So I, I'm. It might not amount to a whole lot, but. You know, it's really interesting to talk to somebody or listen to, to, to people talk about the game and how they, they worked on it. So I'm really, I'm really thankful for that. I'm really glad to, uh, this uh, fellow has decided to, to leave some comments. You know, we talk about, uh, he's talked about how uh, the news events worked. And I, I talked about, I just mentioned the, uh, oh, we're already here, are we? No. We're not there yet. How the uh, system map works and some of the information about the, uh, the trade computer. Yeah, it's been really, it's really interesting. I, oh, look at that. BE-1039. We're going to get attacked. And it's been really, really interesting to, uh, well, hear all this information. Okay, so here we are. B1039. You are a drop star. It's a big ship. But it doesn't have a shield. Well, you can try and stop me from getting to Velasco. But I don't think it's going to work. I would like you to meet my plasma accelerator. Of course, he might have a plasma accelerator too. This guy. Uh, and we won't know unless we get too close. So we're gonna try and do our normal thing where we stick around at just under eight kilometers. Reminds me, how many how many shield generators do I have? I still only have three shield generators. I thought I added another one. So. Uh, that would cut out really quick with this uh, plasma accelerator, so I definitely don't want to get too close. Come on. Go. Okay, so now we break. Look how fast that eats through his hull. Ooh, the yellow star. Boom. Now I don't know what the yellow stuff is. I know though that there is a large plasma accelerator and the yellow stuff might be the large plasma accelerator I'm not sure either way he's gone so we don't have to worry about blowing ourselves up alright let's make our way to Velasco City Point ourselves a little bit 
out of the sun's way. Here we go. position. And break. So I think Velasco uh, is on a fairly small moon, so we don't have to... You know, I want to double check have to spend too much time. Uh, we don't have to keep the braking meter too low. Let's see. Yeah, only, only, wow, 0 0.3 G's there. Okay, so that shouldn't be a bad approach. No, it shouldn't be too hard to break into it. This planet's atmosphere. Oh, I don't think it has an atmosphere. Yeah, no atmosphere. <laughs> we have to double check that. Oops. Getting a little close, let's slow down. Well, this must be really tiny. Wow, it's... Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. we're still... In the wrong time acceleration mode. That looks like a little asteroid. That's very, very small. Hold on a second. Where are my prograde markers? They are a little hard to see them against the uh, planet. Oh, there are the hyperspace departure clouds. That's a lot of hyperspace departure clouds. Alaska must be a pretty popular place. Alright, just... Ooh. That was weird. There it goes again. Okay. Right. Let's hit the cruise control, turn ourselves around, and let's try and dock.
Well, that's a fairly big city for being on this really tiny planetoid. Let's see. 90 million people. Okay, yeah, that'd be a pretty big city. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I need one other ship there. So when we're in five kilometers, we'll get docking permission. Bay number two. Ah, it's a blue nose. Oh boy. Ah, we overshot it a bit. That's okay. enough time. Yeah, 47 days left. Yeah, that was a good trip. Cool. Been paid in full. Thank you very much. Might not have been particularly profitable, but we got some combat in. It's always good. So, we guessed up. Uh, level 9 tech... Technology. Two waves. Let's see, do they have a large no, no large plasma accelerator. What kind of stuff they have for work? Delivery. Yeah. Okay. So anyways, right? Uh, I think we'll call that a day. Right? It's a nice kind of chair. Yeah. So, uh, that'll be it for today. Right? Thanks for watching. See you all again next time. And goodbye.